So recently I conducted a study with a co-author, Michael Roloff from Northwestern University, and we wanted to examine the um, work experiences of teleworkers who work at least three days a week um, away from the office versus office-based workers who are people who are working in a co-located workplace or the office. Um, and what we found was that these people who are working with, uh, remotely the majority of the time um, experience a number of really unique benefits. Um, specifically, the teleworkers that we surveyed um, were significantly more satisfied in their jobs. Um, they experienced significantly lower work-life conflict, meaning that they are less likely to experience their work interfering with their personal lives, which made them more satisfied in their jobs. Um, they also were more likely to experience less stress and time pressure associated with meetings and interruptions um, compared to the office-based sample. Um, in addition, they were less likely to be exposed to or be aware of office politics, um, which are so pervasive in the office environment um, in, as compared to the office-based sample, um, which also contributed to their job satisfaction. And finally, and this was something that was really interesting in the study, um, we expected that the teleworkers would be in contact with their office-based um, co colleagues less often. They'd be exchanging information less frequently um, than the people in the office, just for the mere fact that they're working from home. They're you know, not sitting next to somebody who they'd be exchanging information with as frequently. Um, and so we did find that. You know, teleworkers are exchanging information with their colleagues and supervisors less frequently than the people in the office are doing. Um, but the thing that we found really interesting is that um, the teleworkers and the office-based workers actually reported similar levels of access to quality and timely information. So there's this myth that teleworkers are going to be kind of out of sight, out of mind, that they're not going to have access to the information that they need to do their jobs. And we didn't find that. We found that maybe they're not exchanging information as frequently as the people in the office, but they don't seem to be missing out on the information that they need to do their jobs. Um, and so that's really exciting for us. We found that um, this doesn't, this kind of debunks the myth that teleworkers are missing out on that information they need to do their jobs. Um, and it also kind of uh, shows that more information isn't always better, that perhaps the people in the office are overloaded with information um, and are kind of suffering for maybe from information overload because they're becoming so stressed out. So to recap, we found some, some benefits for these teleworkers. They're experiencing higher, higher job satisfaction, less work-life conflict, um, less stress from meetings and interruptions, less exposure, exposure to office politics, and uh, less frequent information exchange, but similar access to timely and uh, quality information. Um, some latest advancements and trends in the area of telework are looking at the idea of a paradox in, in organizations. So looking at things that might be consider considered mutually uh, incompatible outcomes of, of telework. In other words, there might be outcomes of telework that are um, kind of, of benefits and drawbacks of telework that are exist at the same time, mm -hmm. such as you know, is telework isolating for employees while also allowing for employees to have better work-life conflict and better um, relationships with their families? Or is it more satisfying for telework, but does it also isolate them from their colleagues at the same time?